Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I'm hearing you. Okay, so nice to meet you. Okay, so we will start. Okay, so basically you face some problem regarding the issue of Google Earth Engine. Okay. So kindly share your screen and then show me your problem. Then I will try to fix the problem. Okay. Yes, I can, can you see, see my screen. Yeah, yeah, I can see. Okay. Okay, so Okay. I'm trying to I'm using uh, chips data. I want to do a 12 monthly monthly da um, pre pre precipitation time series data map. And the monthly January to December. Yes. So you can see on my screen yeah, now. I can see. Um, okay, I have defined the the years and filters my data. Yeah. And make a, I have make also the sequence of yeah. two of the month from January to December. And now I'll, I have make a function to to stack it uh, for for twelve months. Okay. And now I I want to have the the total precipitation per month and export each map. And also, my problem is right here. Okay. okay, so in this time, what's the problem in this code? Um, the problem is when I try to make a sum of uh, each pixel to have a precipitation value per pixel, it's not compute. Computing okay. and the chart is also not displaying. Okay, so okay, so for that, first of all, okay, mm -hmm. we can simply copy from sixty-eight line at the last part. Try to copy from sixty-eight, 68 to last part. Yeah, yeah, sixty-eight to last. All of course, okay. copy. Yeah, yeah, copy, copy, not copy. From 68 to copy all of code. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just select and then copy. Okay. okay. And then go to the app. Okay. No, no, it's okay. Go to the app of the code. Okay, your your code editor. Okay. Go to the co app of the code editor. And paste okay, okay. before the calculate the pixel area. Okay, mainly paste after okay. the fifty one line. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, paste here. Yeah, yeah. Paste now. Try to run the code and check what about the chart. Click to the run. Okay, and now also commenting. Suppose you can simply comment uh, from sixty eight to uh, seventy five. All of those line comment. Yeah, yeah. It also comment. No problem. Yeah, comment. Now try to run the code again, and now check what happened about the chart. It will be work or not? Okay, um, the chart is displaying, but we have this value. Okay, Every so month are the same, the same values. Why it shows every month for the same value? Okay, so it's the February one, then yes. March one. March one, April, May, 
June, Julie is also same. But it should be the same hello for all time. For yes. Okay, so it's another problem. Okay, so for that I think you will some make mistake in your collection, mainly your precipitation monthly collection. You can face some uh, problem in here. Okay. 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 So in this time you need the monthly precipitation data, mainly January to December. Okay. You make yes. the time series yes. chart as well as you also want to show the figure. Suppose monthly January month of January, you want to display the uh, precipitation map. Don't worry, you want to display yes. the precipitation. Map. Okay, so I will try my own code and try to show you this result. It also better. So let me open my. You can uh, stop the sharing. I also try to open my screen and then try to show you that how it will work for my own code. So okay. Already okay. okay. <laughs> So just I simply open my screen, share my screen. So it's been loading. I'm not seeing it now. So now can you see my screen? Okay, it's been loading. Yes. Yeah. So, so let me open my previous code for monthly description. Okay. let me open that okay so in this time here you can see uh, we are just start the year and i want to show this result for a specific study area suppose i want to show this result for that uh, province i want to just remember that to commenting this so i simply use the province of my shape file name so mm -hmm. suppose I want to make my import my shape file of Dhaka city and I try to add here that the variable in province. So now people run. So now okay. Region. Region. The problem. Try to So now you can get that this type of chart here you can see basically it show that you have to change from here suppose i want to make this time series chart for it's an annual chart and we can also get some monthly chart in here it's the you can see monthly chart for each year all of month okay 2021 or 2000 uh 2000 2005 all of yearly we can easily get from here okay for each month January, then February, then March, uh, December, all of this we can get from the 12th month for each year. Okay. Okay. So in this time, this is the one code. You can easily use it. You can simply change your uh, study area, mainly your time period, as well as you can okay. change your time, uh, study area from here, then you can easily get it. So in this time, when you want okay. to visualize this map, suppose in this time, this data sh show for the whole area, but we want to get the result only for that our province okay so this chart only for our province which i imported in my shape file is the boundary shape file province it also provide me <laughs> this time three chart we can get from here so now when you want to okay. visualize this image suppose i want to visualize this uh, specific province suppose month of january then february so this type of annual and also monthly i want to visualize the rainfall map for my province so mm -hmm. first that 
but that we are just talk about the collection so monthly precipitation collection so monthly precipitation I just I print that print I just I simply copy the monthly precipitation then I can get all of the collection for the monthly precipitation information okay so click on here here you can see the feature in this feature we can get that I can suppose I click on here here you can see it's one kind of month basically 2023 month of uh, mm. december but it's a march january february march mars yes you can get this result for the mars it's a it's only for the one band okay presentation okay so now i want to visualize this image suppose from this feature i want to visualize only for the one image and i want to display on my mm. map so for that for that what can i do so for that i can so for that i write the code suppose i just take a variable suppose um i want to make the map for month of any month suppose month one i call the monthly precipitation multi precipitation this monthly precipitation i just need to filter okay how i can filter so art engine filter dot equal what's equal what i simply put here a uh, month equal to nine the month equal to nine so put here okay month equal suppose nine okay and it also some another okay. filter uh, er suppose uh, what is the er about that so for that you also put here the another filter option so put here uh, no. filter and put here ee dot filter equal you can put here the equal uh, er and put here that a specific year suppose 2006 month of no. 9 i want to make the map and i want to calculate the map for average maximum minimum or total precipitation suppose i calculate the total precipitation make, make the map for the total so put here the sum this sum will be clip with your study area which is province okay so let me check use the same put here the province so in this time i just simply call the monthly precipitation this precipitation I filter for a specific month and then also filter for a specific year and i calculate the total and it comes up with my study area so now i want to uh, display this map so for that i simply put here the map dot add layer and call that month click to the run so now let's check what we can got in this time we added the another layer okay so now it also show the result for for this year and for this month total precipitation map for my study area of Dhaka city so let me open it and then visualize it so i uncheck it so let me open my study area so now we can get this precipitation map yeah so we can get this type of map and this map represented year of 2006 month of nine early september okay suppose you read the 2006 month of january so what you can do just simply put at the one we can get the map 2006 month of january total precipitation map it visualize okay suppose and you can see we already make the chart about that so we can easily uh, get the monthly times chart from here so further you are just uh, add the visualization about the precipitation so just click on here and then custom as a 98 percent for stressing we can get this type of result i want to show suppose uh where is the low i want to show this type of color suppose uh red color greater than i want to put at this type of yellow color 
and put at that suppose uh, put at this type of uh, green color and where is the high precipitate and show this type of uh, blue color okay and further i just try to apply it so now it works very well okay so basically this is the data set we can get it's a high, it, it's a i think it's a long this pixel area is so long so that's why for the small region we can get this type of uh, result okay but when you want for the big region then we can also get the more better result for that okay so basically this is the process okay. for filtering for that uh, this type of monthly and we shall get this type of monthly chart okay so i'll send you this code you also try to practice for that how we can easily create the monthly time series of precipitation and also make the monthly precipitation map okay okay so if you have any question about that okay it is okay so yeah. 